Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain another vector identity. Already we discussed some vector identities in earlier videos. Once watch them, see the statement of the identity. Show that we have to prove that divergent of f del g is equal to f del square g plus del f dot this is the dot product dot del g we have to prove this identity here f and g are scalar point functions okay already you know that del f is nothing but gradient f in the right hand side we have del f del f means gradient f According to the definition of gradient, what is the formula? I bar into dou f by dou x plus j bar into dou f by dou y plus k bar into dou f by dou z. Here we have only scalar product between the terms. This is only scalar product. Similarly, what is the next term in the statement of the right side? Del g. Del g is nothing but gradient g. It would be I bar into this time you will get partial differentiation of G with respect to X, Y, Z. So do G by do X plus J bar into do G by do Y plus K bar into do G by do Y. So you can take the dot product of these both terms. So you will get gradient f dot gradient g nothing but del f dot del g becomes dot product of these both terms in the right side so already you know that how we get the dot product of two vector point functions just multiply the corresponding components and add them so what are the components the first one it is do f by do x the second one coefficient of i bar is do g by do x you have to multiply i bar coefficients and you have to multiply j bar coefficients and you have to multiply k bar coefficients and you have to finally add them so result should be do f by do x into do g by do x plus do f by do y into do g by do y plus do f by do z into but this is not y this is z do g by do z okay take it take it equation number three similarly in the middle term here we have del square g according to the definition of del square g it is a laplacian operator do square g by do x square plus do square g by do y square plus do square g by do z square this is the definition of laplacian operator which is represented by del square okay you can take this one also now we are going to evaluate left hand side value for that purpose first take del g only already we have del g we know that del g is again i am writing this one i bar into do g by do x plus j bar into just i am using the formula of gradient this is not x this is y plus k bar into do g by do z this is also z okay from this what is f del g multiply entire gradient of uh, g with f so f into i bar do g by do x plus just this is the scalar product do g by do y plus k bar into do g by do z so you can take this one as i bar into take this scalar function f2 inside and multiply every term so i bar into 
f into dou g by dou x plus j bar into f into second part dou g by dou y plus k bar into f into dou g by dou z okay so f del g is also a vector function whose components are f1 f2 f3 okay here f1 is this one f2 is this one and f3 is this one now we are find out divergent of this vector function so we know that what is the formula for divergent f bar do f1 by do x plus divergent f bar f bar is a vector function then it is do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z okay here f bar is nothing but this one so divergent of f del g can be written as do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z so here I will write sigma re representation summation of summation of f do f1 by do x. What is f1 sigma do by do x of? Look at the previous step. F1 is nothing but f into do g by do x. So that is equal to. You can take the differentiation of this term by using UV rule. So you will get do f by do x into do g by do x plus now f is similar term differentiation of the v already know that derivative of u v rule is u dash v plus u v dash just I am applying this one okay f is a scalar point function in terms of x y z so don't write do f by do x as zero. Okay, it may contain x term. That's why f into already first derivative is there with respect to x for g. If you take another derivative, you will get second order partial derivative. It would be dou square g by dou x square. So here I will separate the terms summation of do f by do x into do g by do x plus f is the common term for every part that's why i will write this f in the outside of the sigma so f into summation of do square g by do x square this part becomes what is summation of do f do x into do g by do x look at the equation number three this can also written as summation of the first term short form of this entire expression is just write summation of first part so do f by do x into do g by do x so this is the equation number three according to the equation number three i will replace it by del f dot del g plus f into we are observing that what is sigma do square g by do x square look at the equation number four sigma do square g by do x square is nothing but do square g by do x square plus do square g by do y square plus do square g by do z square you can also write directly it is del square g del square g so by taking lhs you are getting rhs if you have the command on formula of gradient and divergent and laplacian operator you can easily understand this one in this way we can prove the identity the next video i will give some more identities on vectors thank you very much